For far too long, what we've relied on is platforms that we've built that are limited to a small set of people inside Washington. And part of what we're trying to do in the administration across the board, the philosophy of the Obama administration is to shift power to the American people, whether it's with data.gov, whether it's the way we go about getting input from the American people, recognizing, as I said before, that we do not have a monopoly in the best ideas. We saw that with a SAVE award, which was um, an, aw an award to the best ideas in the public sector to save money. We got thousands and thousands of ideas across the country from people all over the federal government, coupled with third parties who are giving us input in terms of how the federal government could actually be more efficient and effective in terms of how it spends money by cutting waste. And we've implemented a number of those ideas in the budget itself. So what we're seeing is a fundamental transformation of society um, through the use of technology. People can engage with their government in ways that were structurally impossible before. Whether you're in the suburbs of Washington, or you're in Ohio, or in Boston, you for the first time have access to your government in ways that were impossible structurally before. And what this administration plans to do and will continue to do is leverage the power of technology in our policy making process and also in terms of how we try to solve some of our grand challenges, whether it's in energy, education, healthcare.